I started rowing when I was a freshman in high school, and ever since then, I started out just doing it for extra strength and conditioning, but ever since then, it's turned into a sport I really love and appreciate, and I came to college, and it's starting to turn into my life. I first heard about crew when I was in high school, and I fell in love with it, just like seeing the beauty of the sport, and how wonderful it was when everyone was in sync, how the oars all moved together, there was this sound as everyone hit the water and I just I loved it I, I thought it was so unique and so beautiful and I just fell in love with it. While the majority of Liberty University is still asleep this group of special athletes are awake out on the water braving the brisk cool temperatures of the morning air. Waking up at four every morning is definitely rough but at the same time, there's a lot of joy coming out here in the morning, working out before, you know, most people are up, getting back to campus before most people are up. It's just nice getting to be able to row right in the sun. I never actually start waking up until we're actually on our way walking to the boathouse, and I'm still half asleep at that point, but once we get in the water, it's, it's, uh, it's a different feeling, and you just get right into it as soon as we start rowing. It's rough. It's a struggle. You're exhausted a lot of the time but it's totally worth it and you like you get on the water and all of that vanishes all of a sudden waking up early doesn't matter um, being exhausted doesn't matter you're just having so much fun out there and just the love of the sport keeps you going not a lot of people know about uh, a crew as a sport on on campus and i think it is one of the hardest sports you can do because because of the time time commitment the season's really long, it starts all the way till fall, and we don't get out till about a month after school ends. It's definitely a time commitment dedication. I think it's one of the hardest sports at Liberty for time commitment and strength and conditioning wise. It takes a lot of mental focus. To, to be good, to be competitive, you've got to put in the miles, you've got to put in the hours. So anybody that is a rower knows like it, you are dedicating your time to it. The winter season is definitely the most intense because we are erging all the time and we're running and doing circuits and so that's the worst part to go through because you don't get the joy and the fulfillment of being out on the water and you just have to push through and see the season ahead and see that all your work will pay off eventually. You know, it just becomes a part of your life. It's, it's um, your season really doesn't stop. You, you have to maintain that physicality of it. You have to maintain your stamina, your lungs, your legs, your upper body strength. So it really is a year-round sport. For the crew team, the passion of rowing is what helps them create a unique partnership out on the water, a passion that for some of them started before coming to Liberty and since then has become a way of life. The reason why I love this sport is it's so unlike any other sport out there. I've played many sports before growing up and nothing quite compares to this. It's totally different than anything I've ever done before. No sport that requires the teamwork that crew does and just nothing that makes you feel so connected with so many other people doing the sport personally because it challenged you. And you know, when I talk to the rowers about rowing, it's, you know, it's one motion over and over and over again, a million times over, but yet it, within that one motion, there's so many little variables that you have, to, you have to work on it constantly to get that finesse, to get that perfection. And there's always something to work on. It's not, always, it's not about just strength and Athleticism, it's, it's mainly about how you react in the boat. And the one thing that you're focusing on when you're in the boat is just the person ahead of you. That's literally all you're thinking about is what is the person in front of you doing and how can I match that as perfectly as possible. There's so much partnership because you have to know what the other person is going to do before they do it. You have to follow them and watch carefully and you have to like feel their stroke and their movement and so it requires you to be so like focused and, and so paired up with the person in front of you, behind you. It's just crazy how much, like how connected you can be with another person. I love to see people progress. I mean, you, you get somebody out here that's never been in a boat before that's afraid it's gonna flip. To watch them realize like, I have control of this. I can adjust my handle height. I can work on my leg drive. I can, I can do all these things. And it's just really fun to, 
watch that progression and see the confidence build in the rowers when they're, um, when they're learning how to row. And then the team building as well, to see them come together as a team, and really support one another and be there for each other. So I am really excited about this year. We're gonna put together some fast boats. I told the kids this year, I said, now's our chance to medal. We really want to medal at the um, nationals this year. I said one boat, I don't know who it's going to be, that's up to you, but one boat is going to medal this year at nationals. So we're really looking forward to just getting the time in on the water and dedicating ourselves to, to achieving that goal.